Hi everyone. This is Prashottam. I'm a systems engineer in VMware, and today I would like to talk about VMware Cloud Foundation. So, what is VMware Cloud Foundation? Well, it is VMware's foundation for cloud. It means that by this solution, VMware offers our customer a foundational unified platform to build their public cloud, private cloud, edge cloud, and even hybrid cloud. And we all know that a cloud is basically a software-defined data center. A software-defined data center is the one where the infrastructure is virtualized. The server, the storage, and the network hardware is all virtualized. It is delivered as a service. Compute service, storage service, network service, and it is managed by a single software console. Altogether, it is SDDC. And the VMware Cloud Foundation or VCF is actually the SDDC offering from VMware to build a public, private, hybrid, or an edge cloud. Let me show you how. So, here in this slide, we can see that there are three basic building blocks of this integrated solution, or I would say it is, uh, I would say, tightly integrated solution. So we have compute virtualization, which is delivered through vSphere, which is an industry-leading server hypervisor solution, which can run on any x86 platform, right? We have SCI-based solution, which is vSAN, which provides a uh, shared storage which is highly scalable which delivers high performance as you can have hybrid as well as uh, the all flash solution right the efficiency features like deduplication compression encryption all these things are available with this software defined storage solution third and most important thing is the software defined networking which is delivered through nsx so all the networking features like switching routing firewalling load balancing all these things are extracted on the hypervisor layer and they are delivered as a service right and since the security is paramount therefore we leverage the micro segmentation through software defined networking to NSX, right? On top of it, we have cloud management platform. So we have automation operations and the lifecycle management available with this cloud management platform. You can provision your applications. You can perform day zero to day two operations. You can have updates and upgrades. And this is very simple through this cloud management platform, right? And if I talk about the applications, so you can run both the traditional as well as the modern application on this platform. When I say traditional applications, so usually the traditional applications are running on bare metal servers, on virtual machines actually, in this case, right? And the microservices or the modern applications are running on the containers or Kubernetes clusters with vSphere, uh, 7.0 platform, which is the part of VCF platform. The containers as well as virtual machines can run together on the same platform. This is the beauty of this solution, right? And the good part is we have self-service portals available for the developers where they can avail their legitimate resources uh, without the intervention of IT. So they can do REST API calls to get the access of their resources, right? The runtime and the virtual infra resources, all these things can be done using self-service automated portals, right? Now, on top of it, you can see we have private cloud, public cloud and edge cloud. So this VCF platform is available on both the private cloud and the public cloud, right? 
so what do i mean by that the entire nsx vsam vsphere and the cloud management platform is available on the hyperscalers be it aws be it gcp be it azure and the oracle this platform is available on the public cloud as well and you can manage both of the world using the same single software console that is vcenter this is the beauty of the solution the platform which is called as vmware cloud foundation with this i would like to end my presentation thank you so much